Welcome to Diary of Bookaholic. My name is Dorothy. Today is my weekly reading wrap-up. Today's Monday. I didn't film over the weekend. I haven't read or listened to any audiobooks. I have read up to page 52 in this book. I'll do my little bit of my little section of this book. I'll do my little section of this book for the day, finish it off, then I'll go to my main book. I've been reading the heck out of this. Thought, oh, chapter a night, it's more like two, three, maybe five chapters a night, about halfway through it. It's actually, I'm really enjoying it. I did find an interesting misedit, or whatever you want to call it, where they're, you're talking about one person, and they mention them in the conversation that they're having, like they're talking about themselves. But other than that, I'm really enjoying it. I will say there is a lot of fat phobia in this. I want to keep saying that just to make sure people understand that if you are triggered by weight of any kind of like people hating on people who are fat, then maybe stay away. Nevermore, I haven't really been reading that much of it. I've been reading a few pages here and there on page 290, 291. It's very, when I'm reading it, I'm interested in it, but when I put it down, I'm not grabbing to put it, pick it back up. With that said, I'll update you later on my reading progress. Bye until then. Hey guys, back with the second update for today. I read about 8% of Miss Morris and the Witch by Tracy Walton. So far I'm enjoying it. Second book in a B and B on a B B series. Got to page got to page two ninety eight and never more. Still I'm not wanting to pick it up when, once I put it down but while I'm reading it is Paige Turner. You're the only one I've told. Stories about abortion. I'm on page 60. I did finish my little section for the day. It's hard to say enjoying this book, but I am learning a lot. Whether all information here is factual or not, I don't know. But it is an interesting read. That's all I have for today. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, here for another update. I read a couple more pages and never more. Also read a or Listen to a little bit more of my audiobook. Got to 10% of Miss Moore's and the Witch. Enjoying it. Never more than that. I'm enjoying it. It's, they're not books that have me fully enticed. Haven't got any more of this read yet. About to sit down with breakfast and read a little bit of this. I'm on 196 of I'll Be the One. I kind of had to stop reading this one last night and kind of go to something else for a little bit. Because of the way the mother is in this one. Very negative. Won't just support her daughter. We'll see how much more of this I get done tonight. Till then, I'm going to go and do what I have to do today. See you later. Hey guys, here for my next update. I haven't read more than a few pages of this. I haven't been in a physical reading mood. I've been listening to my audiobook more. I did get my section of this read. It's getting harder and harder to read, but I'm still intrigued enough to read it. The stories are not super detailed, but you get the gist of what happened and it's some sad things happens. Like I said earlier, I've been reading or listening to my audiobook. About 43% of it. I am enjoying it. It's one of the cute, cozy mysteries. Still don't know who done it. Had my suspicions, but right now everyone looks or sounds suspicious. That said, I'll update you tomorrow. Hi guys, happy Wednesday. Here with another update. I got to I got to 65% on my audiobook. Miss Morris and the Witch of Mykonos. I'm enjoying the mystery. Still don't know who's done it yet, but it'd be interesting to find out. About 70% in this book on page. 70% in 
into this on like 232, 233. Got about that much left, so in a day or two I'll finish this. For a book that I'm only reading a chapter a night, I'm reading two, three, sometimes five chapters a night. Sorry for my distraction. I have a cat in here climbing on shelves. This is what I'm staring at right now. Hi guys, here with my next update. I did finish Miss Morris and the Witch. Probably only give it four stars. Didn't see Killer coming, which is good. It's a cozy mystery about a woman who moves to Salem, starts up a B and B. Someone dies, she pokes her nose into where it doesn't belong, and that's how she figured out who the killer is. Haven't picked up Nevermore yet, but I figure after this update, I'll go read before I cook dinner. Pick this up. You're the only one I've told. I've gotten to page 91. This is a hard book for me to talk about, about abortion, which is a very hot topic and very triggering to some people. These stories are interesting to read and insightful seeing someone else's point of view. With that said, we have a roll I need to do. Four. One, two, three, four. Big book. Book with 500 pages or more. As you can tell, I got big book book over 500 page. I'm doing a little bit of a TBR shuffle. I'll use Nevermore for the big book and Opal, third book in the Lux series for book with magic in it. With that said, see you tomorrow. into Opal. Third books in the Lux series. I'm enjoying it. Not much to say. Read another 20 pages of Nevermore. It's starting to grab my attention. Finally, after 300 pages. And I got read another story in You're the Only One I Told. Stories about abortion. This one took me a little bit longer to read. Even though it was 14 pages is still in the story in particular had triggers of child loss, like losing pregnancy, and abortion for like medical reasons. Having obviously there's abortion all throughout this book, but one woman's story, Mary, kind of tug at my heartstrings a little bit, so it took me a little bit longer to read. So tomorrow I'll read another story in this. Hopefully I'll finish either tonight or tomorrow night. I'll be the one with that. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Friday. I read a little bit more of Nevermore last night. It's starting to get interesting. Things are going down now. Some crazy things. This one I finished last night and I gave it five stars. Absolutely love it. I will say for this, trigger warnings on fat shaming and like fat phobia. But it does have a good message to just be happy with who you are, the way you look. Gave it five stars, and I'll be looking to see what the authors wrote in since. With that said, see you in my next update. I did get some of Opal. Red, I've been just kind of listening to an audiobook and playing Minecraft. I've got to. 59% of the way through this book. I don't know if I'll finish it this weekend or not. If I do, I'll do another roll. Speaking of rolls, after I do this update, I'll do a roll and see what I get from my ebook. Here in a few minutes after I do this update, I'm going to read my story in this book and then read if I have time some more Nethermore. If not, I'll probably end up taking this with me tomorrow for my birthday shenanigans. We'll be visiting my mom so I can read there. If that says, let's go on to the rolls.
six. Small book. Went from big book to small book. We'll see what I have. Roll. We got less than 300 pages. I have Mora Sky, Vampire Hunter, book one. I've been currently reading this off and on, so I'll figure more than 50% of it left to read. So, with that said, all my links will be down below, along with the books I mentioned in this weekly wrap up. Have a wonderful day. Read what you love. Bye.